first, it's a Western Buckeye League rematch in the D2 Regional Semifinal. Well, back in April with Defiance still basking in the state basketball title, the Bath Wildcats served notice that they could be a team to be reckoned with in the WBL, knocking off the Bulldogs 4-3. Bath stumbled a little after that, finishing eighth in the league, but behind strong starting pitching from Andrew Renner, Brian Jesko has his team in the regional tournament for the first time since 1980. And their reward? Those Defiance Bulldogs still smarting over that loss. Beautiful day in Carter Park. Both teams with their aces on the mound, and Shea Smitty had it working early for the Bulldogs. Strikes out Tyler Starr. Gage Cordry completes the out with the throw to first. Andrew Renner matching Smitty early on. Strikes out Shea swinging in the bottom of the first. Smitty answers back with another K in the second. He retired his first 10 batters he faced. Top of the fourth, Bath has the bases loaded. Just one out, Dylan Burkholder chops it to third. Garrett Sierra throws home for one. Cordry to first, a 5-2-3 double play to get Defiance out of a jam. Bottom of the fourth, runner on first. Bryce Borton at the plate, line drive to right center. And it's misplayed in right which allows Ty Castillo to come all the way around from first to score the game's first run. One to nothing defiance. Later in the inning, runners at the quarters for Garrett Sierra. And Sierra lines a base hit in the left field. Borton comes in to score. Bulldogs now lead it two to nothing. So let's go to the top of the fifth. Bath responds. Andrew Renner at the plate delivers another big postseason hit. Logan Schaefer. Comes around to score from second. Bath cuts the Defiance lead in half. Bottom six, same score. Sierra at the plate again. Fly ball to center field. Chase Clark camps under it. Borton is going to try and tag from third. Check out the arm by Clark. Great throw, but it's just a tad late. Borton under the tag. An insurance run for Defiance. They lead 3-1. Top seven, Smitty trying to close it out. Last chance for Bath, Cam Clark. Lace is one to left. It looks like extra bases. Borton runs it down, makes a strong throw to second, and Ty Castillo applies the tag. Clark is out. Defiance goes on to win 3-1, to one, a complete game for Louisville-bound Shea Smitty, and he got some help, a couple great defensive plays behind him. It really helps me be with confidence in my pitches. I mean, I'm not afraid to throw anything at any count with my defense out there. I know that they're going to make the plays, and just those two plays alone were huge. I mean, they made many more plays out there, just routine plays that some teams don't make, but I have confidence in that they're going to make those plays. We have 10 seniors. Uh, they love to play the game. They hang out with each other, uh, and, and there's a bond. And, and, you know, matter of fact, early in the year when we struggled, we lost three or four in a row, or three out of four. Uh, we didn't feel they were competitive. But that's how much the love they have for each other, and, and uh, it's a special group. So Defiance is moving on. They'll face Bellevue tomorrow night at 5 back at BG's Carter Park. Redmond beating Parma Heights only named 5-1 to one in the second game at BG tonight. Winner of that one moves on to Huntington Park next Friday for the 1 p.m. game against either Steubenville or Sunbury Big Walnut. Both winners today in Zanesville.